Hi, I'm Bridget Driscoll. We have an exciting new program that we've put together just for you, Lowell. I'm Cassie Rubico, and Bridget and I are here to give you a taste of what the, this terrific city has to offer. So stay tuned, and let's see what's, what's cooking, cooking in, in Mill City. city. Brazilian Influence Family Restaurant located in downtown Lowell, just steps from Middlesex Community College. The relatively new restaurant centers its appearance and its taste around the influences of South America. The patterned floors and the yellow walls give the bread house a lively yet light atmosphere. There are Brazilian flags proudly displayed throughout the establishment, along with Brazilian periodicals and newspapers. A soft array of Portuguese music plays, while Brazilian programming can be seen on the large flat screen television, and a flavorful aroma indulges your olfactory senses. I thought it was a great idea to bring something new into the area, especially downtown Lowell. Um, my wife is crazy about culinary arts, uh, especially confectionery. Uh, she always wanted to be able to, you know, uh, make cakes and desserts and decorations. Uh, so we saw this place and it was an opportunity. We opened it. How do you think Lowell has reacted to Brazilian restaurants? I think that. Um, there is a lot of uh, Brazilians in this area. Uh, the population of Brazilians is growing, but the most amazing thing is a lot of uh, people from other cultures are starting to come in. And they're not only adopting the food, but they're actually starting to learn the names. On, you know, they ask for, the, for each uh, particular plate in there and the Brazilian name. So uh, we can see that a lot of people, we've got a lot of regular people from other cultures, Americans and even at Latin American, which I would say there is more is expected more of them, but the American culture hasn't been actually coming in here in at the balcony. The bread house is relaxed with plants, paintings, and comfortable leather chairs, where you can sit and take advantage of the Wi-Fi connections offered while enjoying an imported beer or coffee. 
Banners hang from the ceiling displaying Brazilian products and there are plenty of Brazilian foods from cheeses to chocolates to drinks and meats which all could be purchased directly so you could bring the Portuguese flavor back home. One of the most impressive concepts of the bread house is the sense of community it conveys to its customers. During the World Cup, dozens of fans filled the establishment to watch the big screen television in hopes Team Brazil would go for the golden ball. To go along with the added fun of the game, special souvenirs were offered with each purchase of beer, trivia questions were asked throughout the day, and a special complimentary plate was offered in, in the case that Brazil had won the match. In the evening, live music is sometimes offered, or Portuguese programming is broadcasted via satellite. Such newspapers as the journal Noticia and the Metropolitan Brazilian are offered free of charge and add information and updates to those in and around the Brazilian community. The food is faithfully Brazilian with an Americanized approach. The plates are diverse and aplenty, from such classics as steak with french fries and onions to the trademark homemade fixture, Gestura. The Gestura is a meticulously put together sandwich consisting of hamburger, ham, mozzarella, cheese, peas, and corn. It is a restaurant favorite. This sandwich comes large in size and even larger in taste. It packs a flavorful punch, which situates in your mouth, imposing a mouth-watering effect and satisfying even the utmost hunger. This is one popular sandwich treat you're guaranteed to enjoy. The other plate, wow. that's called the cheese tudo, which is uh, cross everything. Got a. That's good. Oh! It has egg. It has eggs, <laughs> beef, ham, cheese, salads, peas, wow. tomatoes. Oh, my heavens. So that's a typical Brazilian. Right. Now, would you make that for breakfast? <laughs> well, you might want to. Is that a that. hamburger? Yep. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, I want you to try your food. Wow! Yeah, I want you to try All right. Food. Oh, wait, let me try this. Uh, put some steak on here. You guys want anything? Um, yeah, the, no, no, no. no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no. What? How's that? What are you eating, Kevin? Mmm. You want to try about this? <laughs> Wait, cheers. Usually, what you do with that is you take a piece of your steak and then you sort of powder the steak. Oh, I'm gonna try that. Okay. What do you? You take a piece of the steak and do what? You, you powder it with okay. that. Ah. Is it spicy? Um, no, not spicy hot, but spicy with different uh, spices. The display case curves around the counter, presenting various desserts, breads, and cheeses. In one case, you can sample homemade cakes and pastries. In another, breads and cookies. We uh, do American cakes, which is uh, the normal toppings on the fondants uh, for weddings mostly. But we also uh, do the traditional Brazilian cakes, which uh, have fruits and different ingredients inside or fillings between not the uh, vanilla and chocolate. Brazilian dish. This entree comes with your choice of fish, pork, beef or chicken. It is decorated with sides of rice, salad and homemade spaghetti served cold with pasta sauce. The variety of choices appeals to everyone 
and the savory meats combined with the pleasing sides are genuinely delicious. That looks good. That's like...